everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be 8 tips to help you relieve stress. So I'm a type of person that gets super stressed all the time. I shouldn't say all the time, like the summertime is like the only time I'm not stressed. Um, but during the school year, I'm just like a walking stress ball. Like I just feel like I walk through the hallways and I'm like, I'm just stressed. Like you can just like see it in my face 90% of the time. So these are tips that are pretty much focused towards like school stress, at least for me. But I'm sure you guys could kind of take these tips and just kind of switch them to whatever your situation is. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with tip number one. So tip number one, I have, by the way, I have everything written down on my clipboard. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. Tip number one is to make a to-do list. So making a to-do list is going to help you prioritize things. It's going to help you handle tasks one at a time. And it's also going to help you um, feel really accomplished when you get something done. So for me, I use my planner during the school year. And I write all my homework assignments down in it and what I need to get done. And I do one subject and one assignment at a time. And when that assignment is done, I can cross it off of my planner. And then I go on to the next one. So I obviously start with the ones that are going to be due first. I work on getting those done. I cross those off and then work on whatever due is ne whatever's due next and kind of work on that one and cross that off. So just being able to like physically look at your like planner or whatever and be like, oh, cool. Okay, I got one thing done. Okay, that's another thing done. So to me, it's just really like satisfying. So definitely do that. It helps a lot, I promise you guys. You guys can make a to-do list for like anything. To-do lists are so fun. So tip number two is to reflect on the positive. Find the positive when roadblocks occur. So obviously it is not a fun time when something doesn't go your way or things were supposed to go this way and they go so far the other way. Um, it's stressful, it's annoying, and it's just like, ugh, why is this happening to me? But this is what I'm going to tell you guys. Have positivity because positivity is going to get you everywhere in life and negativity is going to get you nowhere in life. Like you just have to understand that things happen for a reason and I know that's the most cliche thing to say because everyone's going to say that and everyone says it all the time but I promise you that everything in life works out the way it works out for a reason. There's a plan behind everything and I'm like a religious person so I say that God has a plan for everyone and things happen in your life because God wants them to happen that way. Obviously not everyone is like a religious person, um, but whatever your like spirituality on it is, like there's a reason why everything happens. So just find the positivity and just roll with it. Just, just go with it. So tip number three is to focus on the now. Take things one at a time. Don't worry about what's going on tomorrow, what's going to be going on the next day. Don't worry about what's going on next week or even next year. Um, for me personally, I tend to like try to think way ahead of time. I have a hard time living in the present. I'm always thinking of the future. I'm always like, oh, okay, well, I got to do this, this, and this, and this, and this. So for me personally, I have to like take a step back and just be like, okay, you need to stop worrying about what's going to be happening next week or next year or in like three years. Like, wor like worry about what's happening now and take things one at a time. You're going to feel like just a like huge weight lifted off your shoulder if you just like take things slow and just roll with it like just focus on what you can and don't worry about the rest so tip number four is don't fret over what you can't control so focus on what you can control I'm a control freak I will admit it I hate to say that but I am so for me if I can't control a situation or something I get frustrated and I get stressed and I just don't understand why I can't control it but sometimes it's like that in life there's a lot of things you can't control so for me, one thing that frustrates me and stresses me out so bad is when my professors will put four exams in like one week. And I'm just like, why are you doing this to me? Like, please, why? Obviously, your professors don't all get together and be like, oh, let's put four exams in this week so Molly has to stay up every single night. Like, they don't do that. Like, yeah, you want to like think they do, but they totally don't. So what you have to do is just be like, okay, I have no control over the fact that four of my professors put four exams in the same week. You can't control that. You can't be like, oh, gosh, professor, why'd you do that? Like, you just have to go with it. So just focus on what you can control. In this situation, when that happens to me, I just focus on the fact that like, okay, I can control studying. Like, I'm going to study for this on this day and this on this day or study for this for this many hours. Like, control what you can. Don't worry about what you can't. That's one I'm still learning, but I promise you, once I learn it, life will be so much better. <laughs> Alrighty, next tip is tip number five. Take a break. Do something you enjoy for once. Just take a small break. Nobody says that you have to stay consistent with everything 24 hours a day 
If I'm sitting there and I'm studying for four hours, I'm not going to sit there for another four hours and study. I'm going to take a break. Um, my favorite thing to do is to study for like a chapter or a section of like an exam for like an hour or two hours and take like a half hour break and then go back and study for another couple hours. So that's just what I do. Um, you can do anything during your break. You can work out, you can read a book, you can eat food, you can take a shower, you can go for a walk, you can play with your dog. Like you can do so many things, but like mentally you need to take a break every once in a while. My next tip, this is tip number six, is to talk it out. And this is probably one of my favorite ones and the one that I do the most. Talk to a good friend. Find a friend that is awesome and is willing to let you just vent about everything when you're stressed. I do this all the time during the school year. My friends that sit and listen to me vent, like seriously, if any of you guys are watching my video right now, you all rock. You guys are all beautiful, amazing people because I don't know how you put up with me. I stress a lot and I vent about a lot and during the school year I am literally like I said a walking stress ball so I will sit there and I will talk about how I have an anatomy exam that is stressing me out so bad and just I'm going to keep stressing about it the entire week. It might not even be for two weeks but I'm still going to stress about it. That's where I need to learn my own knowledge and focus on the now but that's just what it is. It's how I am and my friends are awesome and they sit there and they listen to me and it's just so good being able to do that like it's amazing like my mom listens to me stress like I have a great support system for listening to me stress like you guys all rock my next tip is going to be tip number seven I thought I was gonna choke for a second I felt like I couldn't breathe Whew. tip number seven is to keep it clean so I tend to do a lot of my homework in my room um and I cannot focus or do anything if my room is not clean I will not do my homework and I will not study properly if I have clutter all around me because that's all I'm thinking about and that's all I'm focusing on. So keep everything clean. A clean workspace just keeps for a clean mind and you can just do a lot of things. Your mind's clear. You can do anything then. So keeping it clean. And my last tip, tip number eight, is to read inspiring quotes that motivate you. Like this is one of my favorite ones to do because it involves me getting on Pinterest. So don't spend forever doing it because then you'll get nothing done. But spend like a couple of minutes on Pinterest and just find a quote that you really like. Motivating quotes. I mean Pinterest has like endless amounts of quotes. And what I do sometimes is if I really need that like extra push is I will wrote down, wrote down, I will write down all those quotes and I will stick them in my planner so that I am looking at that 24-7 in my planner. I will screenshot the picture of the quote and put it as my lock screen so every time I open my phone like I'm reading that quote. It's amazing what an inspiring quote can do for your motivation. It's just really cool. So those are my eight tips. I hope they're helpful to you guys. Maybe not all of them, but a few of them. Um, I want to start doing more sit down videos for you guys, but I don't know what you guys want to see. So let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see. And I can try to maybe work on those. But until next time, I will see you guys soon. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye!